Welcome back everybody to the channel, it's me Alejandro Mendoza or the Nerd Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we look at another film in my collection. And today we're looking at a pretty special film, one that I watched at a young age that I'm revisiting now in my later life. I'm talking about Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down on 4K Ultra HD. Thank you so much for the continued support and if you're new here, please make sure that you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single review that drops on this channel. And of course, if you'd like to lend an extra helping hand, I do have a Patreon set up over at patreon.com slash where you can get early access to videos just like the one right watching right now, along with video essays and other exclusive reviews just for my patrons. Of course, it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated either way. If you want to continue watching and supporting by liking and sharing the channel around, then please do so. It's okay. It's all good. And I appreciate you being here and helping out in whichever way you want to help. Now let's talk about this iconic film from the 2000s on 4K Ultra HD. Of course, I'm just going to read from the back here and then we'll go ahead and look at the packaging and talk about the film and then talk about the transfer. From acclaimed director Ridley Scott, The Martian, and renowned producer Jerry Bruckheimer, Pearl Harbor comes the gripping true story about bravery, camaraderie, and the complex reality of war. Black Hawk Down stars an exceptional cast including Josh Hartnett, Ewan McGregor, and Eric Bana. In 1993, an elite group of American Rangers and Delta Force soldiers are sent to Somalia on a critical mission to capture a violent warlord whose corrupt regime has led to the starvation of hundreds of thousands of Somalis. When the mission goes quickly and terribly wrong, the men find themselves outnumbered and literally fighting for their lives. And these are the special editions on this Blu-ray. Three audio commentaries featuring director Ridley Scott, producer Jerry Bruckheimer, author Mark Bowden, screenwriter Ken Nolan, and Task Force Ranger veterans. The Essence of Combat Making Black Hawk Down documentary, The History Channel presents the true story of Black Hawk Down, PBS presents Frontline Ambush in Mogadishu, A Deleted and Alternate Scenes with Optional Commentary, Designing Mogadishu Featurette, Production, Archive, Des Production Design Archive, Ridley Grams with Commentary, Target Building Insertion with Commentary, Q&A Forums, BAFTA Motion Picture Editors Guild and American Cinematheque, Jay Bruckheimer's Black Hawk Down photo album, title design explorations with commentary, Gorto's Iran, Jatens, music video performed by Denis Pigen and Lisa Gerard, photo galleries, theatrical poster concepts, trailer and TV spots, and original special features design and produced by Charles de Luzrica. And of course, the theatrical, the theatrical version and the extended version are on this release. You have a English Dolby Atmos Dolby True HD 7.1 compatible, English 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio. You also have some other different audio tracks in different languages. And of course you have Dolby Vision HDR and and it is in color and you are ha you have what's it called a uh, surround sound and subtitles and all those wonderful things. Lots of cool stuff in here. And of course, this is the front of the packaging. This is the back. And this is the spine. And then you just open it up and you have a uh, code, which I already downloaded. And you have, of course, the 4K right there. Then you have the two Blu-rays which house the special features and the theatrical version of the film and of course the um, extended the extended version is only on the ultra hd disc right here so extended versions on this along with the theatrical version whereas the theatrical version is only on the blu-ray release but that's pretty much it just pretty standard uh mra uh i wanted this to come with a slip but i'm way past the point of getting a slip with this one but that's okay because I just really wanted this in my collection and I am really a big fan of the way that they designed the cover art for this one. It's a really interesting one. I like this more than the standard um, poster of the film that was released. So that's all the packaging. Now let's go ahead and talk about this film. It's been a while since I've seen Black Hawk Down. Literally when I was a kid, I watched this for the first time multiple times and I just kept rewatching this and 
I just never watched it again. And I have to say now finally revisiting it and finally getting to watch the extended version, which I can't really tell much of a difference. I don't really know what's new in this version or what's what was added, but I have to say that Black Hawk Down still holds up. It is very much a product of the time that it's created. It is very much American exceptionalism and very much a very patriotic look at film that has its commentary uh, in there talking about, you know, why are we here? Why are we doing this? And really the role of the United States in, uh, in foreign policy as the police officer of the world. And I have to say that it's still a great movie. It's shot beautifully. I think that they have a way of capturing the atmosphere and the look of Mogadishu, which makes it feel very like congested and very much um, claustrophobic, even with not a lot of people around. But as you're going through the streets and you're 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 looking into the conflict, it really starts to sink in the extreme nature of the situation and how much they need to find these uh these guys. And I have to say it's a, it's a damn good movie. And it has some really, really good uh, cinematography, a good score, and a great uh, sound design, some fantastic, um, you know, combat scenes, and really just accurate depiction of those combat scenes, which feel look fantastic. And yeah, you know, it's 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 really Scott. Really, Scott always brings a very interesting look to his movies and a very uh, interesting atmosphere. He he very much makes his movies feel very epic and very big and important. And that is the case with Black Hawk Down. And you feel it from the beginning when that intro starts and you keep going into the film. It's a fantastic movie, expertly made, and it definitely holds up after the many years that it's been around, guys. It is a great movie and one that I'm glad I rewatched. The extended version, I'm not sure what it was adding, I'm not sure what was different, but I still felt that it was paced well and I thought that it was a still a pretty damn good movie compared to what I remember watching from the theatrical version that I watched a long while ago. Now let's talk about the transfer. So I watched Black Hawk Down on my Panasonic 4K player on my TCL 4K TV and of course I listened to the audio from my TV speakers. I was able to watch this with HDR 10 HDR not uh, Dolby Vision and of course, I have to say, compared to what I remember this looking like on the DVD from back in the day, this is a massive improvement to Black Hawk Down. It still very much has that grimy and very rough look that it had back then, so I'm glad they were able to keep those details, especially the film grain, to really give it that rough look of boots on the ground, ragtag type of filmmaking, and it still very much feels authentic to the time that it came out in but the 4K format really brings out a detailed look out of the resolution. And the colors are very vibrant and they pop. Of course, this is one of those, um, those examples of uh, films that are based in outside the US, which are not in Europe, and they have that yellow tint. And of course, it is a stereotype of American films that are just very famous, mostly happening in Mexico, but uh, here in Somalia, they definitely use that yellow filter, but it looks really good. And the uh, colors captured are really uh, bright and they're very vibrant, they look really good. And of course, the sound, my God, the sound is always fantastic. I remember the sound being so good back in the day with this film. And now with this new audio track, from what I'm able to hear on the um the tv it sounds really good i have to say it is well balanced the sounds are very are very lifelike and they feel very close by they're just well mixed and well uh, thought of and they're just a great audio presentation here with this movie on 4k black hawk down looks amazing on 4k it sounds great it's a good movie and as you can tell from the back of this has so many special features to offer. You literally get two versions of this movie on this. I ended up paying, I think like $10 for this. So it is very much worth the price. And I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. Definitely one of those movies that I wanted to have in my collection for a while. And I'm glad that I finally own it. Hopefully I can get more of Scott's films in my collection. I definitely want that 4K of Gladiator. I want Alien on 4K as well. So. I just hope to pick up more from him because he is such an incredible filmmaker who always has a very talented and very exceptional vision 
And Black Hawk Down is another example of that exceptional vision that really Scott brings to the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. And as always, you can keep up to date with me on all things social media by following me at the Nerd Chicken on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, Serialized, and on Twitch. I'm the same handle on all of those, so I made it easy for you guys to find me and discuss cinema with me. Please check out my podcast, The Nerd Core, by going over to our website, thenerdcore.com, and checking out our Twitch, YouTube, and Kick at The Nerd Core. We're the same handle on all those three sites. We could really use your, your viewership, so please come and chat with us on that channel. But for now, that's all I've got for you guys. Once again, just a great movie and a great presentation, both visually and audio-wise on 4K. So let me know in the comments what you think about Black Hawk Down. Do you have this on 4K? And do you like this movie? What do you think about the presentation? Let's chat in the comments below. But for now, to all my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.